look at this team now, headed into year two, John Gruden, Derek Carr, that whole marriage and yep. institution. I mean, what, what's your kind of state of the Raiders? At well, the I, I think the state of the Raiders is that we're developing. In the next two years, you get five draft picks, if I'm not first round draft picks, yep. if I'm not mistaken, yep. three this year. Are you, can you imagine the type of positioning that you can get and the type of picks? Just think about what Ezekiel Elliott has meant for the Dallas Cowboys. And think if you can get three of those. And let's say one of them don't work out. I think mean, you can do two of those. And let's say one of those don't work out. And you, you get one, one of them. I mean, you know, so you, you've secured – and you can go out there, and you know it's interesting too. Bringing in you know Mike Mayock as a, a general manager, NFL Network guy. Yeah, I've worked with Mike yeah. Mayock for a long time, and look, I was surprised at the pick. I was like, wow, Mike Mayock. But then I started thinking about it. Like John Gruden is doing something that is uh, you know kind of. Uh, He's kind of doing his own thing, yeah. which is kind of cool. You think about it. Like, which is also the epitome of being a Raider, right? He studies film, and he studied personnel like nobody else yeah. in the business, hands down. Like, you can pull out a random name, and he can go dot, 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 dot. I mean, he can give it to you. So he understands football, he understands personnel, and he understands how it fits within a scheme. So I think that those two working together could be great. Now, I'm curious, too, just as a, as a former player. Yeah. We hear all the time about the relationship between the quarterback and the head coach yep. and what that means, you know, from year one to year two. And you yep. see that jump from year one to year yep. two. But for an entire roster of guys yep. who were being asked to do something completely new last year with Coach Gruden and his staff, yep. I mean, how beneficial is, is it year two going to be for them? Same verbiage, same guys. The coaching staff is, yep. you know, 99% still intact. What's that co continuity going to do for that whole roster going Well, the continuity is going to be based on a couple of things. One is that there is going to have to be a little bit of bend, and I don't usually say this about leadership out of John Gruden, mm -hmm. and that obviously he's going to have a lot of his old school ways and the stuff that he used to do, but the generation has changed since he's, I mean, it's one thing if you've been out of business two or three years, but the generation has completely changed. Hell, their attention span yeah. is way different than what it was prior to. And it's even affecting the sports world and how people consume content and how people consume plays and the, the, the way. So he's going to have to make some adjustment. But I think also, too, the players. But the more they become more familiar with the guy, the easier it is going to be adapt. I mean, I'm sure John was trying to figure things out in his first year. And guys are going to be used to like, okay, I get John. I get his intent. Because if you don't understand a guy's intent, it's going to be very hard to trust. And I think they'll understand his intent. Like, okay, he came in as essentially as a celebrity. I mean, John Gruden's a freaking rock star. Yeah. I mean, he's a rock star. I mean, my goodness. I mean, you know, he's the voice of Monday Night Football. He's been a big character forever. He's got 100 commercials out there. And so, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's that little, oh, wow, man, this is a superstar. Can I talk to him? Can I approach him? Do I ask him for his autograph? I'm sure somebody on the team is asking oh, for an sure. autograph. I'm you sure. Know, so, for, a, uh, for a mom or a cousin. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. It's hanging, in the, man, it's hanging yeah. in the man cave right now. Hey, Coach, can you sign this? <laughs> but now that he's broken through that, he's back in the groove. And I, look, he's invited me out to camp. Um, I was at training camp. Yep. Um, and so it, it, it's, it's great. I mean, I, I'm all in on John Gruden. I, I think the 10 year commitment to John Gruden and what Mark Davis has it done bringing him back into the fold, I promise you it will pay benefits. I'm not saying it because I'm a former Silver and Black. I work for the NFL Network. I can say what the heck I want. And I'm telling you, I truly believe uh, in the Silver and Black and, and their resurrection.